Hi there. In a previous video, I talked about the crazy $140,000 MSRP of the A8W12, how it's $30,000 more than the S8 and a crazy $70,000 more than the base V6 A8. But what do you even get for doubling the price of your V6 A8? Well, on the outside, it's not a whole lot, but under the hood and under the skin, the changes are quite significant. So let's dive in and see what you get for doubling your money. We'll start with the exterior trim on the car. Most of all the bespoke W12 bits are at the front. For the grille, the W12 receives a W12 badge in lieu of the Quattro badge. It also has its own horizontal bar design with split horizontal elements and Bentley style stainless steel mesh behind. For the preface lift like mine here, the lower intake grills have three horizontal bars as opposed to two on the V6 and V8 and a chrome surround. On the facelift, these lower grills also have stainless steel mesh behind. All W12s came with LED headlights as standard. Moving along to the side of the car, on the front fenders, there are W12 badges, and the brakes are properly beefy 400 millimeter front rotors with six piston monoblock calipers shared with the S8. Then probably the most overlooked detail specific to the W12, and therefore the easiest way to spot a fake on the street, the leading edge of the side mirrors have an aluminum trim. A nod to the special nature of the car, just like the S and RS models, full aluminum mirror caps, but with its own spin not shared by any other model. Out back there are trapezoid exhaust tips, just like the D3W12, but for this generation it's shared with the pre-facelift 4.0T and the facelift A8s, so the only unique item is the W12 badge. And all D4W12s are long wheelbase. The D2W12 never sold in the US was normal and long wheelbase. The D3W12 could be had both ways outside of the US, but only long wheelbase here. Other small details you can look for as well to verify you have a real W12 are dual glazed acoustic security glass and the panoramic roof, both of which were standard on the W12. However, the panel roof could be substituted for the solar sunroof, so if it's a W12, the car will have one of these two. Inside, you'll find W12 script illuminated on the stainless steel sills. The W12 is the only long wheelbase A8 to get aluminum lower inlays, aside from A8s with the Baleo Brown design selection interior. You'll also find a long list of standard features like heated steering wheel, Alcantara headliner and rear parcel shelf, standard extended leather, multi-contour massage seats, and most importantly, one of the best back seats ever conceived. Reclining, heating, cooling, and massaging rear seats. A full length center console that terminates into a beautiful rear wood veneered cabinet. Four zone climate control. Rear seat entertainment. Vanity mirrors. Memory functions for the seats. Power side sunshades. And storage in the armrests. And if there is any doubt left, crack open the hood to reveal the last naturally aspirated 12-cylinder engine fitted to any sedan. You'll find massive intake manifolds, previously made of one-piece magnesium, dual air intakes and throttle bodies for each bank, W12 aluminum oil cap, coolant cap, and for the preface lift with mechanical hydraulic steering rack, the power steering reservoir cap. Incidentally, these are shared with the R8 and current Lamborghinis. Under the skin, the options changed slightly year to year, but for the most part, dynamic steering and W12 Sport adaptive dampers were standard. Presense Plus, Audi Drive Select, soft closing doors and trunk, keyless entry and start, top view camera, heads up display, high beam assist, and Valcona leather were some of the standard features beyond the V6 and V8. So there you have it. That's everything that sets the W12 apart from the rest of the range and what makes it cost twice the money from the base V6. If you're interested in seeing some of the features in greater detail, I have another video with some beautiful footage and a soothing voiceover in uh, my channel. I'm also working on a very lengthy point of view video, point of view video rather, that goes in painstaking detail all of the features on the A8, both standard, optional, and including all of the rare bits and pieces that I've imported from the European W12 that were not available in the US. So until then, thanks for watching, take care.